Hi everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Well Creators. Uh, thank you so much for all your support. It's been a wonderful uh, year so far for all of us. And thank you for every person who has been uh, subscribing to this channel. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all the questions you've been asking. And I hope I have been of some help to you as well. Uh, this is the monthly report that we make. And this is uh, our performance for the month of June that I'm going to reveal right now. And I hope this helps you in your market journey as well. Uh, if you are here for the very first time, please remember to uh, hit the like button on this video. Please subscribe to our channel and please make sure that you share this with your friends and family so that they can also avail this help. Please remember everything at Kingdom Health Creators is free. We don't charge a penny. Uh, we don't charge anything at all. This is simply to help others prosper in their experience in the stock market okay so now we have our monthly performance for the month of june i just want you to know that june was a tough month for us here at kwc uh, because of one stock which i will tell you a little more uh, down the line uh, but otherwise it was not so bad but again our performance wasn't as great as we were expecting simply because of one black swan event uh, so overall, if you look at the Nifty, the Nifty went up by about 400 points, uh, give or take about 2 to 3% uh, increase over the month. And our performance comes in at about 4% uh, for this month, which isn't great, but we still outperformed the market. Now, let me explain to you what went right, what went wrong, and how we're going to improve the, on this in the month of July. Okay, if you look at our performance for this month in june you can see here that we had uh, a total investment of 1.5 crores uh, and we saw a return of about 6.18 lakh which is a return of 4.12 percent uh, we had 13 trades that we did in using hedges and uh, we had 11 of those successful for a percentage of 85 percent now what went right okay so here you can see our total positions uh, you can see here that we did extremely well with Bajaj Finance, about 12% return on that position, uh, which is extremely good. Uh, we also had some really outstanding performances in terms of um, you know, uh, Avils, Mothers and Sumi, TBS Motors, uh, Bharat Forge, uh, Chola Fin. So some of these did really well for us. Tata Power was where we really shined. We got almost three lakhs of profit at Tat in Tata Power. Uh, but the biggest problem for us was this, Adani Ports. In fact, Adani Ports was the largest single loss that I've suffered so far in my uh, stock exchange, uh, in my futures and options trading. Uh, and this was simply because there was a black swan event. Most of you would remember that uh, a few weeks Oh, actually, a few days before, there was this report that came out in the Economic Times that the NSDL has frozen three accounts, email accounts of three uh, FPIs, foreign uh, investors, that have invested primarily in Adani stocks. And because of that, the next day, Adani Ports, Adani Enterprises, and all the other Adani stocks, you have Adani Green, Adani Power, uh, Adani Total Gas, Adani Transmission, all of them were down at, you know, the lower circuit. The four, four smaller stocks, of course, have lower circuits of 5%. So that wasn't a big issue. But Adani Ports went down almost 20%. Uh, Adani Enterprises went down almost 20% that same day. Uh, in fact, Adani Ports from 900 went down to 650, 30 almost, which is uh, almost 30% decrease in its stock price in just three days uh, in, uh, and so uh, that was a tough moment, you know, when you see that that position that you built up because of one black swan event uh, was a huge struggle. In fact, at one point, the loss in Adani ports was almost 10, 11 lakhs. Uh, but gradually, you know, the position recovered a bit. I was able to close out at 6.6. Uh, but if, it, it just imagine, if it weren't there, if Adani ports wasn't there in the portfolio, uh, this month we would get about 12 lakhs. These sort of mistakes, and I wouldn't call it a mistake, these sort of black swan events can happen at any time. And one of the reasons why we were still able to come out 
with a profit is simply because there was a healthy diversification across the board. Okay, you can see that we had 13 positions that were well hedged across the board. And even though, and it's not just Adani Ports, if you look at MGL, for example, I saw a loss in MGL. What happened in M MGL was very similar. MGL started at about 1,160, went to about 1,300 almost, and then crashed back to 1,138 at the close of the inquiry. And so that was a very difficult position. Even though initial, initially my position was in a profit, eventually MGL closed at a small loss. And this can happen. And to compensate for those two positions, of course, we had the Dutch Finance, we had Tata Power, we had Bharat, uh, Bharat Forge, we had Cadilla, Chola Fin. Uh, and so all of these other positions were kind of able to cover for that struggle that we had in Adani Ports and later in MGA. So my takeaway for this video and this month's performance is basically, hey, sometimes black swan events can happen. Uh, and there's not much you can do about that. You can try to adjust those positions. You can see how Adani Ports went from a 10, 11 lakh loss to a 6.6 .6 lakh loss uh, and try to make up for those in the positions that have not been hit by black swans events. So eventually my takeaway is that, you know, I need to make sure that I diversify properly. I'd probably also need to know that, you know, taking huge positions in one particular stock is probably not going to help me all the time. Uh, it worked out well in Tata Power. It didn't work out well in Adani Ports. And so that's something that I need to work on. But overall, I think uh, this is another successful, if moderately, but successful month for us here at KWC. And I hope that this journey continues. Thank you all for your wonderful support. Just an update on where we are in terms of our total growth today. When we first started, if you remember in April 2020, I started with a capital of 2 lakhs. Today, the capital that we, uh, we have in KWC is, has grown to almost 2.25 crores uh, in the space of 15 months. And that's simply because of the grace of God, uh, the support of so many people, the encouragement that we get. So I just want to really appreciate everybody out there who's been uh, believing in this journey, uh, working with us, encouraging us, participating alongside us. And it's been a wonderful journey so far. Thank you so much. God bless you.